Let me give you the very first D in handling your paper flow. And you're going to like this one. Just do it. Just do it. When you get paper flow, you have to remember that there was a rule that was established years ago that said paper should touch your hands only once. Now, don't you want to know like I want to know who created that rule? Who created the rule that paper should touch our hands only once? They must not have ever worked in our environments, right? Because paper touches our hands more than once. Here's a rule that I learned from a seminar that I took when I was still working corporately, and that was within the first 10 minutes. Within the first 10 minutes of getting paper flow, do something to it. And it could be, as Vicki just said, it could be filing it. It could be tossing it. It could be delegating it, but you need to do something with it. I used to do prepping it. <laughs> I would prep it, especially if I knew it was coming back to me. I used that upper right-hand corner of the document to write capital letters, the words of action in capital letters, and I would put no more than two bullet points underneath it, so that way I would read the entire document and know what I need to do. Then the upper right-hand corner would tell me the action word, and then the bullet points would give me the summary pieces of what I've read because I knew my paper was going to do this. Placed in crisscross piles. <laughs> And because they were being placed in crisscross piles, when I would go back to them later, they are now organized based on the action word, and I also know exactly what to do to it so that way I have less time to spend on it because of my bullet points. Sometimes the action summary corner helped the person that I was passing the document over to. And when I couldn't write directly on the document itself, I just put it on a post-it note. Yeah. Right. So do it. Handle your paper flow by taking action to it in some way, fashion, or form.